Today, we got some phenomenal lessons. We're first gonna cover the first four steps every ATM deployer needs to be successful. Right after that, it'll actually be myself and Santino, two Marines. So stay tuned, right? It's not gonna be PG-13, guys. I'm, not, I'm gonna give you a heads up, put the kids to bed. So we're gonna actually gonna cover the sales <laughs> skills you need to land premium ATM locations. After that, we're gonna finish this up with one of our best lessons. So we're gonna cover exactly what you need to decide. If you want expert help or if you're gonna do it yourself. Hey guys, this is Paul Alex from atmtogether.com and ATM Business for Beginners. Welcome to another weekly live with your host, Paul Alex, and my co-host. Get him, Jonas, COO, atmtogether.com. Welcome guys. Welcome guys. If you guys have never been to a weekly live, welcome. This is the largest ATM niche group on Facebook for a reason. You guys are going to get a lot of free resources and a lot of life lessons as we actually connect you with the veteran ATM deployers in the industry to the rookies. So welcome guys. Cool. 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 Hey guys. So if this is your first time, we want to know where you're actually watching us from, right? At the end of the day, we got to see where the ATM employers are going to be at and where you guys are right now. So comment below what city and state you're from right now. So myself, I'm in Southern California, literally looking out the window and it's raining, Paul. You see this right now? Like, we don't, we don't know what's going on. But comment below city and state. Let's see where you're coming from, all right? Absolutely, guys. Make sure you guys interact with this weekly live this is all about you guys, value for you. We take one hour out of our yeah. week. And trust me, guys, um, our, our weekly planners are slammed. So mm -hmm. this is a time where we actually get to interact with you watching this right now, and we get to provide as much value as possible for you. So make sure that you guys communicate with us. Closed mouths don't get fed, guys, okay? Exactly. And then also keep it simple, okay? Any simple question is... Good to go. There is no dumb question here. Trust me. We all started from somewhere, guys. Exactly, exactly. So just so you guys know, we also want to know why you're from or where you're from. Sorry, and I'm all over the place. I don't know if I told you, Paul, I messed up my back. So if you guys see me doing all this like chicken little stuff, it's for a reason, guys. All right. I'm still here, though. Okay. So I see you guys commenting Grand Rapids, uh, Stella, New York. Okay. And I see some people from Philly and from Chicago. Shout out. So. The reason we do this is because we've been finding some premium locations. Like, I mean, if you've seen some of the results we've had, you'll know exactly what we're talking about, okay? So if you're from one of these locations that we actually found one of these premium spots at, and I'm saying spots plural, comment me below. Comment M-E, just so we know. We can even reach out and say, hey, by the way, we got this location for you, all right? So stay tuned, guys. We got New York City, Detroit, Michigan. Okay. We also have Houston and the DFW or Dallas Fort Worth. Shout out, guys. I know we've got some Dallas Cowboy fans here. Miami, the place I might even move to. Miami, Paul, you know, that place is phenomenal. Right. The DMV also. Okay. So if you're from DC, Maryland, or Virginia, comment me below. Chicago, Boston, Hartford, Connecticut, all places. We found some really good spots there. And Baltimore. Okay, so comment me below. Let us know if you're from one of these areas so we can reach out. We can reach out to us because we got some premium spots over there. Okay, absolutely, guys. And if you're new, you did the first step. Congratulations, due diligence, right? All serious entrepreneurs have to do the research before they actually invest into any business. And the ATM business is no different from any other business, guys. So you have to make sure that you do your due diligence by researching inside of this group. Now, we did create this special guide that has helped over 1,300 clients as well, guys. So if you guys want this special guide, go ahead and comment guide. That's going to be G-U-I-D-E. Comment guide now in the comments, guys, and we'll go ahead and shoot you a free guide. Yeah, exactly, Paul. So, and I'm seeing a few comments Deltona, Florida. I'm not gonna lie, I, don't, I have no idea where that's at, right? But Florida is phenomenal, guys, when it comes to locations, okay? But you mentioned free, Paul. So I don't know if we mentioned this before we even get into the agenda, because we're running out of time. Can you at least tell the audience what's gonna happen on November 1st? 
Absolutely, guys. If you guys have been part of our group for the past two years, we launched this literally uh, in the middle of the pandemic, yeah. guys. And people were like, people, uh, we're going to go cashless society. The world is ending. No, guys, we actually launched a business towards new entrepreneurs trying to create passive income through ATMs, okay? Trying to share our experiences and our um, expertise in the industry to you guys. So what we do or what we have done in the past, we've actually held several raffles. Yes, you heard that right. Raffles, absolutely free raffles. That is our gift to you guys for you guys actually being part of our community. Yes. No other group does this, guys. Trust me when I say this. I've been part of every single ATM niche group on Facebook and no one does this, okay? So we have given out literally, I'm going to say, um, how many has it been, Genom? Has it been like uh, six, seven ATMs already? So. We gave yeah. away three in one instance too. So <laughs> I can't even keep track. Absolutely. We've given out so many ATMs to so many winners in the past and cash and locations and packages, guys. So not only are you guys in for a treat this go around on November 1st of this year, but we're going to be giving out a brand new Hayusun Halo 2. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's the latest and greatest ATM in the market right now. It is a Bitcoin capable as well. Absolutely free to one lucky winner who's going to be on the live um, on November 1st. The second price uh, is a free location, guys. That's a free location done from our sales team here at atmtogether.com. And the third price, $500 in cold, hard cash, guys. Yes, you heard that right. $500 in cold, car, uh, cold hard cash. And that's absolutely oh, free gosh, for yes. three lucky winners, guys. So... That's wild. That's wild, Paul. So, I mean, every single other instance, I think we've only given away ATM. So now we're like, hey, there's got to be three winners. So if you guys are excited about the raffle and you guys are going to be the winner, you're like, forget the agenda. I want that ATM. Comment winner below. All right. Comment winner if you're going to be the winner on that raffle. It's going to be November 1st, guys. Okay. So today we got some phenomenal lessons. Okay. We wanted to get to scale. So basically, we're getting a lot of questions like, hey, I got my first ATM. How do I get to 10? How do I get to 20? So we thought, you know what? Let's bring on some professional ATM deployers. So one of our newest team members, Santino, he was supposed to be on last time. He is so focused on the ATM business, he had technical difficulties. He's like, man, I forgot how to log into Zoom. So it's all right. So today, for our agenda, and I'll get to this quick, we're first going to cover the first four steps every ATM deployer needs to be successful. Okay absolutely essential steps. Paul's going to cover that himself, okay? Right after that, it'll actually be myself and Santino, two Marines. So stay tuned, right? It's not going to be PT-13, guys. I'm, not, I'm going to give you a heads up, put the kids to bed. So we're going to actually going to cover the sales <laughs> skills you need to land premium ATM locations, all right? Again, that's with Santino Sr. He is from the Northeast. I like to call him Jersey Shore. So you already know how this is going to get down, all right? But that being said, after that, we're going to finish this up with one of our best lessons, which is going to be one of the most common questions people usually ask us is, hey, should I do it myself or not? So we're going to cover exactly what you need to decide if you want expert help or if you're going to do it yourself, how to start your ATM business the fastest way in 2022, because at the end of the day, it is October. We have, what, two more months left, Paul? We got Absolutely. It. It's going by quick, man. Going by quick. I'm already seeing all the NYE yeah. invitations going out for uh, New Year's Eve parties, yeah. guys. So it's coming back fast. And 2023 is around the corner. So you got to prepare yourselves. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So with that being said, guys, if you're excited, Paul's about to get into the first lesson of all. You know, I'm going to let you have it. I'm not going to take the thunder. All right. Absolutely, guys. Yeah. All right. So first four steps every ATM deployer needs in order to be successful, guys. Okay. Now, this is not your standard, hey, four pillars. I am going to get to the four pillars, but there are four different steps that I recommend that each and every single one of you, even if you are a veteran in, as, in the ATM industry or in any business, okay, um, and you want to run and get to the level of a multi-million dollar business, then this is for you, guys. All right. 
So understanding your why, why you're doing this, this goes back to mindset. As you guys know, if you guys have been following me for the past two years, I am big on mindset. Mindset is what got me through the hardest parts of my life. If you guys don't know my background, my background, I'm going to start it off just midpoint in my mid twenties when I first started in law enforcement. Yes, I used to be a first responder, but I actually retired early because I was inspired to be financially free. Now, as much as I was inspired and motivated to be a first responder and uh, five out of the seven years in law enforcement, I was a detective and I got to do some really outstanding work. I got to help a tremendous amount of people. At the end of the day, um, I missed the times to spend with my family and ultimately my personal life took a humongous hit, guys. So my thing is mindset is key to starting any type of business, but then also knowing your why, not necessarily it being money driven, but if it is money, that's okay. All right. That's a good starting point. Okay. Now, as you guys scale in your business, no matter what business you guys do, you guys are going to see just like I saw that money is not everything. And I know it sounds cliche. Somebody in the back is probably like, Paul, be quiet. You don't know what you're talking about. Money controls everything. Absolutely. But think about money like this. Money is a tool, guys. Money is a tool to actually get back your time. All right. So say, for example, you are a busy mom, you're a busy father, you're a busy uh, husband, wife, and you have uh, a ton of things on the planner for the week. Let's say you have chores. Let's say you have laundry. Let's say you have to wash your car. Let's say you have to uh, cook dinner every single night. You have to go do grocery shopping. When you guys add every single one of these items up, just on your daily life, besides your nine to five, how much of that is taken away, taken away your time, guys? Think about that. Actually, I want you guys to interact with me because this is about you guys. So go ahead and comment down in below just on your personal chores and your personal duties that you guys have to do besides your nine to five, how much time are you guys spending per week getting it done? For some people, it might be 10. For others, it might be 20. For other people, it might be 40. You know, there's some people that have multiple kids. There's people that have one kid. Um, at the end of the day, you guys have to realize that the more money you're able to generate, okay, you're going to be able to actually outsource and delegate all those responsibilities in your life. Imagine if your loved one needed medical attention, okay, which has happened to me a tremendous amount of time, and you didn't have the funds in order to execute what they needed in order to go ahead and actually get uh, either a procedure done or a surgery done or a life-changing operation done, which has happened to my family and to me. And at the end of the day, trust me, I've been there. I've done it. And let me tell you the importance of leveraging, okay? Your why. Your why is going to get you through the toughest moments of your life, okay? So if you think this is not important, it is very important. Before you start any business, you need to know what is important in your life? What is going to be that driving factor when things get hard? Because at the end of the day, entrepreneurship is not easy, guys. Okay, I'm over here preaching, but I trust me, I come from humble beginnings. I didn't grow up with money. And at the end of the day, I worked for every single thing that I had, guys. All right, I'm brand new to digital marketing. I've started my ATM business before I even got online. So I already had some decent success in this industry before I even touched a computer, before I even knew how to navigate through social media. OK, so me coming onto social media, I was able to skyrocket in digital marketing because I was able to present the social proof. I was able to show my results and people resonate with that. So if you guys want to build a true seven to eight figure business, OK, then I'm telling you, focus on that. Why it's going to help you tremendously. I promise you. All right. Two. Seek mentorship, guys. Mentorship is one of the most important key factors that I had to learn the hard way. Let me tell you a short story, okay? Since I'm actually doing good with time right now. When I started the ATM business, I started with six ATMs myself, okay? And this is before I actually hired a mentor to teach me the ropes, to teach me the strategies, to teach me how to market, prospect, and sell in the ATM industry. So what ended up happening 
was before I was in law enforcement, I actually was a regional sales manager for a large corporate company. And I did that for six years. I actually ran a sales team. So I had a little chip on my shoulder. I thought I knew I knew it all. I thought I knew business. I knew how to communicate with people. And at the end of the day, I was just like, the ATM business is very black and white. So anyone can do this. But I truly believe that anyone can do this. You just need the right guidance. So with that being said, I went out there. I got six locations within two weeks, guys. And I was just like, this is nothing. Let me go ahead and get my six ATMs. Bought my six ATMs, signed an 18-page service agreement, which was big, big, big mistake, which I'm going to go into in the next um, actual tip, tip three. And I ended up actually only making a decent amount with only three out of six ATMs. The first three ATMs I ever placed at locations only made me $50, guys, $50. Full transparency, this is the reality of things, the reality of business. Everything that you guys see on social media is not what, what is, you could say, it doesn't paint the whole picture. You have to actually get it from the actual source. You have to actually talk to the person who's been there, who's done it, who's seen the struggle, who has actually been able to get to success. Because to get to success, it actually takes a few roadblocks. It actually takes perseverance and discipline to get there. So what did I do? I was like, what did I do wrong? Three out of my six ATMs is only making me $50. So go back to the drawing board, guys. Uh, guys, go back to the drawing board and then go ahead. And you know what? I started investing in myself. I started looking at who knew more than me in this business, guys. And this has changed my life. I'm telling you right now, it tremendously changed my life. It changed the way I viewed everything. So now I don't have an issue paying the expert in any niche, any industry money, which is a tool to get me there faster. And when I say get me there faster, I'm talking about success. All of us at some point in time in our life, we have pride, right? And I understand that having pride is good, but also it can hurt us because how many of you right now have gone and said, I could do that. That's easy. And then it wasn't that easy. And it could be anything, sports, a job, a task, a profession, an industry. Think about your life. Think about those times where you were so prideful. You didn't want help from somebody. That used to be me. But I sit in front of you guys right now, talking to you guys, telling you that I have been able to generate millions because I'm not scared to actually pay a mentor, to pay someone who is more intelligent than me when I know I don't know the correct steps, when I know I'm ignorant on certain pieces of information because we're not human. We're not going to know everything, guys. That's just the reality of things. So one thing that I could leave, if you're going to leave with anything, is that go ahead and find a mentor no matter what niche you're in. If you're in real estate, find the best real estate agent in your area and provide them value or pay them for their time. If you're into stocks, if you're into crypto, if you're into uh, ATMs, vending, um, wholesaling, anything, digital marketing, invest in yourself. It will be the greatest thing you've ever done to change your life, guys. Okay. That's the value that I can present to you as a seven figure, a multi seven figure entrepreneur. Okay, guys. So back to the story to wrap this up before I get into the good stuff is that I got a mentor in the ATM business who had thousands of machines nationwide. I paid for his time, paying for his time, got me a connection within a network that actually helped me scale my business more than I could even dream of. Also, I was able to take the strategies, the marketing, the prospecting, all the information that he had from years of experience, and I was able to use it and expedite my success faster. So what I did was I redid my strategy. 
I went out there, found three more locations, reinstalled those ATMs to the new locations, and I made $3,000 in income, monthly income, by my third month in the ATM business, guys. It completely changed my beliefs. I was still working a nine to five, and I was going in there like, man, what am I doing here? And that was at $3,000, guys. I was still working a nine to five when I was making $30,000 a month. Yes, $30,000 a month. How many of you guys would have quit your nine to five if you were making $30,000 a month today? Go ahead and comment all in. That's going to be A L L. I and comment all in. I want to see how many of you guys would have quit your nine to five at 30K a month because I was still holding on. I was holding on to fear, guys. Fear is what delays us in life. And I'm telling you that right now, it was a good friend that told me, Paul, get the hell out of here. And there was that little push that I needed to get out of there. And by then, I must have scaled my business 50X, guys. 50x within the past two years. Ridiculous. Okay. Your mind is powerful if you believe in yourself. All right. Let's go to number three. Make a game plan. I know it sounds very simple, but I am going to give you the four pillars to creating a game plan. Now, I want you guys to take these four pillars and make your own game plan. I want you guys actually to write this down right now. And then right after this live, what I want you to do is I want you to either do one or two things. I'm going to give you guys two options, okay? Is one, you can communicate with anybody, any of the moderators, even myself, get them, um, any of the consultants, and go ahead and actually probe their brain. Ask them. Pick their brain, guys. They are the experts for a reason, okay? They're the moderators for a reason. They'll be more than happy to help you with anything. They actually are equipped with the latest and greatest guides in sales, prospecting, marketing. Even if you don't have your LLC, we have a step-by-step -step LLC uh, PDF. We have the actual guide on how to generate passive income with the ATM business that I created. And trust me, tens of thousands of people have read this and it's changed their lives as well. With that, if you guys are into video, then we have a really cool mini course inside of the guide section inside of this group as well that will tremendously help you guys out learn the basics of this business. So let's go to the four pillars real quick. And this is going to be <laughs> 10X, guys, because we're running out of time. I got about five minutes to wrap this up. And then we're going to go into the interview with um, Getum and Santino. All right. So four pillars. Number one. You got to make sure that you actually go ahead and you set up your LLC properly. Without the LLC, you guys could potentially be sued. Yes, you heard that right. Now, LLC is great because it is a balloon coverage for your business. Let's say you worked a nine to five for the past, I don't know, decade, just like me. Okay. I worked a nine to five majority of my life, guys. So full-time entrepreneur, I have less experience than I do with actually working the nine to five. With that being said, I had accumulated uh, a quite a bit of assets in my lifetime. Okay. So if you have assets like a home, a couple cars, anything of value, you don't want to lose that just because of a simple mistake running your new business. So do yourself a favor, spend a couple hundred dollars and get that LLC for your actual company. Okay. The second thing this does for you guys, it actually helps you with authority. Yes, you heard that right. Authority. Paul, what does that mean? That means that people are actually going to be skeptical. Yes, you heard that right. You heard it from me, guys. People are going to be skeptical on your business. They're going to say like, what's the scam? You know, there's so many scams out there right now that it's really hard to trust anyone, okay? So if you're walking into a business, you're trying to sell yourself, you're in there with your nice company polo, uh, with your nice logo, and you're going in there pitching your ATM program, and you're telling them it's a free ATM at no cost to them. You'll actually load a double cash. You'll take care of the maintenance. You're the best of the best because so-and-so. But the, eight, the, the business owner is going to go ahead and say, guess what? I don't know, man. Sounds too good to be true. You're going to save me thousands of dollars off of merchant services, which is the little credit card machine. And you're going to give me a free ATM? What's, what's the deal? Nothing in life is free, right? That might be true, but at the end of the day, 
you are helping them save a cost at a cost, right? But you are charging their client. So with that, it's a great deal. It works out for everybody, guys. And that's the way you got to go in there and pitch it. So one thing that I have heard from literally hundreds and hundreds of clients is owners always ask, what is your LLC name? Because it is very easy to actually look it up online to verify that you are a true business owner. So do yourself a favor and get that LLC. Number two, business bank account. In 2022, it is extremely difficult. Okay. You have to be very careful when you go to any bank that actually says they will approve you for a bank account. And the reason why is because you have to be squared away. What do I mean by that? I mean that you have to have the proper documents, proper documents, meaning that you have to have the LLC documents ready to go. You have to have your EIN ready to go. You have to have actual uh, processing agreement. Okay. Between you and a processing company, which I'm going to go into next, guys, okay? So when you go and you actually negotiate with these companies, you want to go negotiate with a company that is a one-stop shop that actually can offer you the ATM, they can offer you the internet modem, they can offer you the internet service, and they can offer you free processing for your transactions, okay? Processing is an actual network that facilitates the transactions between your ATM, your business bank account, and the banking network. This is basically how you get your money back, guys. The money in the ATM, that's actually your money if you didn't know already, okay? Trust me, it surprised me too. I thought I was borrowing the bank's money. No, it's your money, guys. So you want to make sure that you actually know what you're doing ahead of time before you actually get that bank account. So make sure that you have a processing agreement that your actual processing rep should be helping you out with ATM together.com. Our staff member actually helps and we educate our clients on this part of the process because it's one of the most important pieces of information that you need, especially as a rookie in the ATM industry guys. Okay. So that is number two. So we got LLC, business bank account. Let's go with the processing company, guys. All right, so number three, it is processing company. Now, two golden nuggets I'm going to give you guys, and I'm going to make this quick. Number one, keep all of your actual surcharge profits. Don't ever, ever, ever give a percentage to any company. Number two, don't ever sign a service agreement. The reason why is because I'm going to tell you a little piece a little piece of my story is the fact that I signed an 18-pager, if you guys remember earlier, and I ended up paying $7,000 after one year to get out of that agreement, guys. It sucked. I could have bought two ATMs with that money. So you live and you learn. Learn from my mistakes because I'm here to help you. So what we offer, and I'm not going to go into a whole sales pitch on our end. We could talk, th talk about that later. But when you go and you actually get your bids from any company, you want to make sure that they're going to give you free processing. But also what's very important is the customer service because majority, and I'm talking about a good 80% of the market out there right now, they're very old school, guys. I'm just keeping it real, okay? They're very old school. So being the new kids on the block, we come in here like this. We come in here with a good customer service. We show you the respect. We answer your phone calls. We go uh, email you back. We, we got the dedicated customer service team. We have the actual staff to help you succeed. So that's what you got. You want the quality, guys. You don't want to go with the cheapest company out there just because they're the cheapest. And then they give you zero customer service because you're going to keep be kicking yourself in the butt. It's like going to Ikea, buying a piece of their furniture without the instructions, guys. Trust me, thousands upon thousands upon thousands of little pieces everywhere, right? Just think about that with your ATM business. So processing company, very important. Focus on uh, free surcharge, uh, no service agreement, and then great customer service, all right? And then number four, your location. Location, location, location. Location is everything, guys. It doesn't matter if you have the bells and whistles with the best ATM couple tips when you're looking for locations, okay, is number one, you want to make sure that it's cash driven, okay? What do I mean by that? California, they have liquor stores. They offer lottery tickets. You can only buy lottery tickets with cash in California. So that means that it's cash driven. Majority of my liquor stores make easily a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars. Yes, the owners sometimes want 50%, 25%, and that's okay. You know why? Because I will still take $750. I'll still take $800 over zero. And I know you would too. 
Okay. That's off one location per month, guys. You guys can make it happen. You just got to go out there and actually talk to people. Don't be scared. Show authority. You guys are leaders. And I believe in every single one of you guys. It's okay to have speed bumps. Life will throw curveballs, guys. Okay. Just remember, if you want to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to stay consistent and have discipline. Told that to one of my guys this morning. He was feeling, you know, man, so much to do, so much, so, so many things put, getting pulled, you know, left to right. But at the end of the day, guys, hey, everybody's busy. You got to make time for what's important to you. Okay. You want to be a multimillionaire? You got to make it happen for you because no one else is. When nobody else believes in your vision or in your dream, tell me. I'm going to tell you, I'm getting too pumped up right now. All right. Get them. Where are you at? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. We're going to keep it going. I'm here. There, buddy? <laughs> I was like, I saw you on a roll, man. I was like, let me, let me let him continue. <laughs> let me let him continue. No, no. I was just like, dude, I, I need some water right now. I'm going to let get him. Go ahead. Do it. I'm going to start sure, for, for But sure. uh, no, guys, you guys, you guys can make it happen. I believe in every single one of you. And trust me, the things that I got, um, that, that we're going to create in the next couple months for especially 2023. I'm very excited about because it's going to make a lot of people millionaires. Uh, best believe when I say this, I mean, I'm, I'm living proof guys. I was working a nine to five for more than a decade. And trust me, I, I thought that I was going to be captain of police. I thought I was going to be a commander. Um, you know, I, I, I won multiple awards, all that stuff. At the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, I'm telling you this right now. You're just a number. You're just a number if you work for someone else. Work for yourself. Make it happen for you and your family, guys. All right, guys. I'm going to let them do their uh, interview, and then I'll be back to wrap this up for you guys. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That was a phenomenal presentation, guys. I mean, I was let's, let's put it this way. I don't know about you, Santino, right? And forgive me. He's going to introduce himself in a second. But I was so, like, wrapped up looking at the screen. I was like, hey, I think I'm supposed to be on now. <laughs> I was just like, I couldn't keep track. But, um, yeah, no, guys, so... If you're excited, because we actually have a phenomenal guest, I think it's his first time on camera. I know it looks like GQ, right? I'm always jealous, but Santino Sr. He's actually going to break down a little bit of the sales skills you need to land premium locations, okay? So here's the thing. We're from the Marines. We're used to yelling all the time, all right? So we need a little motivation. So if you want to know how Santino got to, and he's, he's going to break down the, the real numbers he's at right now. If you want to learn exactly how you'll get there too, comment location below. All right, comment location. Let's drive up the numbers. Let's get this out to a lot of people. Trust me, there's enough locations out there for everybody. Okay, Santino, what's going on, brother? Hey, Getum, thanks for the uh, invite and for the yep. uh, wonderful presentation there. Sure. Uh, Paul, Alex did a good motivating speech. I, I felt yep. like I didn't own any ATMs. I was like, damn, I need to get out there. He was that motivating, you know? <laughs> It happens, man. It happens. It's one of those things, right? And uh, in case you guys don't know, right, sometimes Santino, right, but sometimes he goes by Gianni. So once in a while, messages might be a little different. Um, a man of many trades, right? Can you like introduce yourself a little bit for the audience? Let them know like, a little bit about your background? Yeah, absolutely, Get him. So me and yeah. uh, Get him here actually have a similar uh, background. We were both coming yeah. from the Marines. I joined when I was 19 years old. I was in the infantry. Yeah. I was a West Coast boy, so I was hanging out with Getem, uh, Paul, yeah. Alex over at Oceanside in San Diego, being a gas lamp boy. Yep. But yeah, so did nine years in the Marines, got out. I was, uh, you know, making $14, $16 an hour. I thought I made it, you know, trading my time for money. And um, I kept seeing ATMs kind of pop around all around me. People would use them a lot. And long story short, at a very expensive nightclub, if you will, where the surcharge and guys, you can land locations like this. You just have to get out there and network. The surcharge was about ten dollars. I'm not going to get into too much detail what type of club it was, but I'm sure a lot of you could imagine. So I'm just sitting there at the bar, you know, sipping on my Corona, and I'm just counting up people. Right? I stopped at fifty. Now do the math: ten times fifty, that's five hundred dollars. Up until that point, I didn't even know you could own an ATM. I thought it was like owned by banks. Yeah. So I asked the owner and the owner told me that actually it's privately owned and the gentleman comes in and, you know, loads it up. So after that, that kind of got my wheels turning. And um, before you know it, unfortunately, I had a similar mishap as Paul Alex did when I first started with the first processing company I picked. 
Um, there's a little high speed for you guys that aren't in the ATM game, but the first company didn't give me what's called master keys. Now, without the master keys, you literally do not own the ATM. You cannot do anything to it. And it was like some guy out of Queens. He's always on vacation. Yeah. I'd hit him up. He's like, oh, what do you want? Like, you know, like I'm doing him a favor or something, you know? Yeah. And so, and so that was your, your first location, right? So, so the first, yeah. yeah. So the first location was actually a buddy of mine, smoke shop. And like Paul Alex was saying, he yeah. had cash only lotto, which obviously you can't buy lotto tickets with debit cards yeah. in most states. Okay. Yeah. And so, so you gave a little bit of, about like the background, why you went in. Obviously, like I was in the Marine Corps too, if you guys didn't know, right? Once in a while, we show pictures, you know, back in the day. You know, we're one of those back in those day people now. Got a, the gray hair right here too, right? Oh, yeah. So with that being said, if you guys didn't know, if you're in the military, it's phenomenal, right? You're serving your country. It's like one of the best experiences that I ever had in my life. But you don't make that much money. How many of you guys are in the audience right now and in, in one of those careers where maybe you're not making as much as you want, or at least as much as you know you should be. You're not in the position you want to be. That's literally where Santino came from. And then yeah, so one of those one night, if, I, if I can interrupt there, get him. I actually yeah. broke it down at the smoke pit, as we say, where everyone goes to, you know, enjoy a nice cigarette. Yeah. And uh, we actually broke it down because you're literally working 24 hours a day. And by the time you calculate, it's about 10 cents an hour. That are getting paid in the military. Yep. Granted, nobody joined the military to be a millionaire. We're not in it for the pay. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you're like, damn. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so you mentioned that you, you went to uh, one of those clubs that military members are known for, right? Oh, yeah. A lot, a lot of clubs, singles. <laughs> yeah. A lot of singles, right? Where oh, yeah. $20 isn't what that dollar bill ends up at, right? They pull it out of the machine. It doesn't stay as a $20. No. Bill, right? you, uh, That's how the club, a, guys. It was a very uh, beautiful. Uh, bartender and you asked for uh, singles exactly uh, right so so you <laughs> so you decided to start because you're like man that's a lot of money and even i'm listening to you right now that's a lot of money in just oh one yeah night. oh yeah it is yeah and um luckily um knock on wood i've managed to land a few of those locations yeah and um you know it, it's really been a blessing instead of you know my time for money my money's not working for me now yep. the atms yep. don't get tired to work 24 hours a day Exactly. And the best part is you look at your app and you're seeing everybody swipe their cards and that, that coming Monday, you're getting that money. Exactly. Yeah. So, well, how many ATMs did you start with? Then? So I started with one and I started uh, growing from there. Uh, similar to Alex, once you figure out you could own ATMs, I don't know about yeah. you guys. I thought I would yeah. be a millionaire boy. I thought, yo, once I get into this, I felt like I had a winning lottery ticket, which yeah. in reality it is, but it doesn't come easy. You have to find those locations, guys. Yeah. The locations are out there. Don't take any excuses. And once you get a couple of those locations and you realize, hey, this one spot's yep. paying my mortgage, this other spot's paying my car note, it motivates you and you keep going. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So start with one. Like, what are you, what are you at right now, roughly? How many ATMs? So, so since I joined you guys about a week ago, I was about at 25. Today I'm at 30. ATMs and I know you're a big yeah I know you're a big numbers guy yeah. so um depending on the uh the month how, how busy it is because it does vary yeah um yeah. when it was corona check season time we were all eating crab legs I'm sure you guys remember we were balling yeah. out I saw some of you <laughs> in Miami we were going crazy right um so, you know that was lovely to everyone was taking cash out I was loving that yeah yeah and so you're at 30 ATMs now, roughly, and I'm, I'm doing some simple math here, right? So if each ATM was just making 200 bucks a month, that's six grand a month, right? And I know yeah, you, you just described they, one. They usually do about, um, about double that, um, mm -hmm. but it does vary. It could be higher on the 15K um, net after I pay some of my um, merchants. But okay. hey, uh, 10 to 15 a month, I'm not complaining. Yeah, 10, 10 to fifteen thousand dollars a month just from your ATMs, right? And that's not including anything else you do in life, right? No, no, I wow. do. I do still have um, a day job. I'm waiting to be a McLaren boy once I get up there with the ATMs. Yeah. It is okay. going to work. Well, so so to a lot of people in in the audience right now, they're probably like, "Man, thirty ATMs making me ten to fifteen k. I'd be happy, right? And I would be too. I'm not going to oh, lie. I am that's, happy. Yeah, that's, yeah. But you, you didn't stop there because they're trying to figure out like what, what it is sales wise. So didn't you just land like some new contract or like some connection or can you describe a little bit about that? 
so once again, been in the ATM business for a couple of years, you got to stay hungry, right? So I network yeah. with a gentleman that is a multimillionaire, I'm not going to get into too much details. Mm -hmm. Long story short, he's a franchisee of over 80 Dunkin' Donuts in the Northeast. For all my East Coast wow. peeps, it's getting cold out there. I know you guys want the little Dunkachino with yeah. some munchkins <laughs> on the side. So probably see one of my ATMs there. And, yeah. you know, you guys can check out some of my videos on my Instagram, ATM, CAP, yeah. C-A-P, Cash. Mm -hmm. I post up videos there. This is real life. You know, we're not making this up. We're out there. It's ridiculous. So just so you guys recapping, because I know a lot of people are probably trying to put the math together. Like me, I'm, I'm simple with math. So you got 30 ATMs making you, we'll just say 15 grand a month. And now you just landed another contract for 80 more ATMs. So we'll say 110 ATMs, conservatively 100 ATMs. Okay. So for you to get to that point, obviously you learned some things. So for anybody wondering in the audience, what are let's say like the top two to three mistakes rookies you should look out for? So the first mistake, and I know a lot of you guys feel this way because this is how I felt. Once you find out you could own an ATM, you almost feel like you're holding like that golden Willy Wonka yeah. ticket. You think you're just going to get the ATM, put it anywhere, and it's going to make you thousands of dollars. That's yeah. not the case. So make sure you do your due diligence, especially when it comes to your processing company. Number one thing, do not sign any contracts. Yeah. And also make sure that this is what I learned from uh, a mentor that I had. Whenever you're looking at a processing company, try calling them like at two in the morning, see if they'll pick up. A lot of companies won't. Yeah. So you want that 24 seven tech support, which with the team that you know we have here um, does yeah. provide it. Some of you guys have yeah. interacted with me. I, I'm usually always on. I drink a couple bangs a day, yeah. uh, you know, watching Netflix and whatnot. <laughs> so the first one is uh, you definitely want to, the processing company, number one thing, they're going to be your backbone. That's how you scale, you know, and you should never um, pay uh, any of your surcharge to them or sign any contract. Number okay. two is huge and you cannot have an ATM business without it. I already know what you know, what I'm going to say, get them. Okay. Banking. You guys want to have a good banking relationship. What I do with my bankers, I pop in, bring us some cannolis, some coffee, maybe an espresso. You want to have that good relationship with them. You know, I've gotten to the point where I'm friends with the branch managers and um, you always want to be above reproach because with the ATM business, um, unfortunately it does have a bad rap. So you always want to make sure your um, I's are dotted and your T's are crossed. So banking is number two. My first bank account was closed, you know? Wow. Yeah. Okay. So banking due diligence with the processing company first few steps i know paul touched on that also if Absolutely. you guys keep hearing it it's the same thing over and over for a reason right it's like when when your parents are telling you to eat veggies it's for a reason okay so you're seeing all these atm experts experts in the industry that have literally proven it they have proven demonstrable skills saying do your due diligence with the processing company the bank is i mean that's one of the starting steps what would you say is a third one for you and the third one is you just have to be receptive of other individuals that are in the ATM space. There's a lot of information around there and a lot of networking. I've managed to network even the, the short amount of time that I've been uh, working with you guys. I've managed yeah. to network, got a couple of locations in my area that you guys threw at me. Uh, maybe I can win that free ATM. Just kidding. From the <laughs> raffle. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, you just want to um, be receptive. Um, you know, it's, as that old saying goes, it's, um, nothing personal. It's all business and yeah. you just want to keep on uh, learning. That's for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Those are some golden gems, right? Cause I'm all about, you know, passing on the knowledge, or at least the experience you have, because I'm sure you made mistakes along the way. Right. So, oh yeah. Made a, one, made a ton of mistakes and it happens. It's in any industry, any business, they'll tell you the same thing. Right. So for anybody in the audience wondering, they want to avoid these mistakes, right? What are some common scams they should look out for? At least newbies should look out for in the industry. So the big scams are definitely going to be coming from the processing companies. Mm -hmm. um, some of them might try and have you sign some type of fright or franchising agreement or whatnot. Uh, at mm -hmm. that point, you're basically locked into like like Paul like said, an 18 page contract. I don't know about you guys. I don't have a lawyer on retainer, so I'm not having a lawyer read it over. You're just kind of looking yeah. at it for glasses. So definitely with the processing company, guys, make sure you have someone that's rock solid. You keep all of your surcharge. Do not give that away. That is your profit. 
Yeah. All right. There's a lot of money to be uh, made out there and you don't want to be taken advantage of, especially by, you know, your processor, your processor yeah. should be there wanting you to succeed because if you succeed, everybody wins. Exactly. Exactly. Any other ones off the top of your head? Can think of? Yeah, I'm sure you guys, uh, you know, if you just go on YouTube, you see a lot of these like uh, gurus saying that you're going to make thousands of dollars off uh, one ATM, although possible given the right location, like a dispensary yeah. or a, or a nightclub, you know, that's pretty rare. We've had it here at ATM together. I know the location services, they do a really good job of trying to vet and find really prime locations, mm -hmm. but guys, it, it takes footwork, you know, sweat equity. You got to be out yeah. there learning it. Once you build and you get bigger, you can start doing crazy stuff like getting yeah. armor trucks to load your ATMs. You can get private loaders, yeah. but you want to learn the ins and outs of the business first before you yeah. start, start trying to get all crazy with it. For sure. For sure. So basically what I'm hearing is start with foundation, right? Get your foundation set, get that bank, get the processing company, the diligence, start networking, and then start scaling. Is that kind of what you're saying? Exactly. And remember one ATM at a time. Once you know how to do one ATM, you can do a hundred. There's nothing different with it. Exactly. The app lets you know any issues and, um, you know, with the customer support uh, provided yeah. by your processor. If it's yeah. like uh, ATM together, you're going to have that 24 seven tech support, which you yeah. definitely want in case there's a bell jam or any type of issues. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So the dying question now, I actually got some DMs while you're talking. They're Damn. like, get them, ask them this question. I'm like, all right, all right, all right, guys, calm down, calm down. <laughs> so <laughs> if there was one sales skill, just one, right? Because there's all these different methods, but obviously you've proven you can get to 15K a month in profits plus another 80 locations. You're at corporate level, all right? So if there's right, one yeah. skill, slows, sorry, one sales skill you pass along, what is it? Your personality. You could have another you know, Italian dude with, with spiky hair roll up in a suit and pitch you some ATMs. Anybody could put an ATM in your business. But if you have that rapport and that personality, they're going to want to go with you. Just like when you're yeah. looking for a, a car to buy. If you got some dude telling you how the, you know, entertainment system works, anybody could do that. If you got a cool guy kind of showing it to you and, you know, you, the personality goes a long way. You want those interpersonal skills. This guy's a multimillionaire. I'm talking to him the same way I talk to you guys, you know, chopping it up with him, being cool, dapping him up. You know, he sees up, you know, I'm a guy just like him. I'm respectful. And anybody could put an ATM in there. This is why I should do it. So you want yeah. that personality, interpersonal skills go a long way. For sure. For sure. I think uh, the, the personality or being able to speak to people in general is one of those, we call it soft skills. Right. And in law enforcement and the military, like it was one of the biggest things, right? So right. It, it makes or breaks your team. And at this point, you're, you're going to have a team, right? So the, the interpersonal skills, guys, write this down. It's extremely important. Those personality skills, you think it's just you, you can develop that. As you see, it's, it's Santino's first time on a live. Total natural. I remember when I was on my first live, I was like, man, where's the camera at? I don't even know where to look, Right. I so, feel like I'm on OnlyFans or something. I'm, I'm sure it's, it's like one of those things. So it's the personality, guys, but it's the soft skills. You know, we'll talk to other people. Yeah, okay? you just want to be yourself. That's all. You, you don't want to be nothing that you're not. I'm not over here acting like I'm the wolf of Wall Street or nothing no. like that. You know, just the regular guy. Exactly. Yeah. And so ATM together, we're very selective on our team. Extremely selective. Law enforcement background. Marine Corps. Military background like we're 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 very selective who's gonna be on our winning team right so let me ask you this santino since you're one of our newest team members why did you join the atm together staff i mean you guys are pretty much elite nobody's doing it in the game like you guys are from a to z the way you're helping people because ultimately you could buy an atm off amazon you could buy it off ebay even craigslist or marketplace yeah. but the basis that you guys are providing here is helping beginners not encounter or even get ripped off and totally be out of the ATM business. You guys are giving them that base that they're gonna to need to expand from there. Yeah. And like I said, once you can go from one, you can get to a hundred. One ATM at a time, you could do it. You know, you guys are no different than me. For sure, for sure. At the, at the end of the day, we'll come back, Paul. I'm at the end of the day, like we appreciate the kind of words. Um, Santino, like- I appreciate the, the uh, that. Where's the bag uh, you sent me? Guys, make sure. 
Uh, get him actually sends it full of uh, money as well. I don't know if you guys can do that. <laughs> make sure you guys get your bag of money from get him. <laughs> if you get on a live right now, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, so at the, at the end of the day, man, like if you guys hear it from Paul, you guys hear it from Santino. It, it's not about, like, you're not gifted. It's not like you, you're not just placed into this position. You have to try. You got to take a step forward. Worst comes to worst, man. Like you, you just, you don't want to feel failure. You got to fear not trying to get there. And these are examples right here. So Santino, appreciate it. Thanks for hopping on. Right. We're going to actually bring you on some more because I got about 15 DMs of questions to ask you. We just don't have enough time. Right. Absolutely. I'd, I'd love to answer that question. Do you guys know you could hit me up on the DM or on Instagram? I'll help you guys out. And I, I'm just going to piggyback on what you said. You know, you want to try. You don't want to have that regret. It's not easy. Yeah. You just want to get out there and try it, you know, and. I don't know about you guys, but once people know you're in the ATM space, you get a little bit of respect because people see that, you know, not even a lot of people know you could operate one. So it's definitely something that's helped me out in my um, personal life a lot. And, you know, my only um, regret was not starting sooner. Wow. That's powerful. Last statement right there. So appreciate it. Well, hey guys, Absolutely. if you guys enjoyed having Santino on, comment Santino below. If you can figure out how to spell it, I, I couldn't for a while, right? S-A-N-T-I-N-O. Comment Santino below. If you want them on another live, we're going to be bringing on experts in the industry to bring you guys knowledge, all right? Thanks again, Santino. See you guys. Phenomenal presentation, Paul. Yeah, that was great, man. He, yeah. he did a really good job. Yeah, natural on camera. But uh, yeah, I think uh, you got to take it home because we are way over we're running out of time oh yeah oh yeah, yeah. so i'll make it quick guys yeah. all right guys so we're gonna go into if you should do this on your own or you should actually get some expert help so i'm gonna do a quick presentation provide as much value as i can in the next 10 minutes and then i'll leave it for you to decide all right guys let's go ahead and do a share screen Okay, and let me make sure that this is going to go ahead and go. Okay, guys, so if you guys have been thinking about what are the costs that goes into actually starting up an ATM business, this is as close as it's going to get, guys, okay? Um, so expert help or do it yourself. Now, startup costs for yourself. You're looking at your basic ATM. It can range anywhere between $2,100 to $2,700. At the end of the day, you got to make sure that you're not going to be um, actually hooked on a with a service agreement, guys. A lot of the companies that actually offer the ATM lower than $2,200, they are more than likely going to want you to sign a contract where you're going to stay in business with them for the next three to five years. That is no bueno. So make sure that you guys ask before you guys buy anything. All right. Number two, your internet modem. $150 is around the average that you're going to pay for your internet modem. And then your monthly recurring fee, I'm going off of what we actually uh, based our internet services. So it's around $6, $5, $5.99 guys. You choose between Verizon or AT&T. Now, ATM processing. This is thrown in the air. With majority of you guys, you guys, now that you guys have actually attended a live, you guys know that this should be absolutely for free, especially if you guys go ahead and you buy the ATM from the actual supplier. Now, with that being said, a lot of processing companies are actually going to want you to take a percentage of your transaction fee. This is a no-go, guys. You want to keep 100% of your surcharge profits because that is majority of your bread and butter. This is how you're going to be paying back your equipment and be making your passive income in the future. So with that being said, always uh, take this uh, golden tip and do not forget it, guys. Keep 100% of your surcharge no matter who you're dealing with. Number two, you also don't ever want to sign a service agreement. Just like you guys heard on my previous story in the very beginning of this lesson, I signed a three-year service agreement and I ended up paying $7,000 to get out of it. So you guys want to make sure that you guys don't do the same. Learn from my mistakes. At the end of the day, 
I like to tell you guys from my experiences because that's how we all learn, guys. All right. So ATM processing. Now, if you don't know how ATM processing works, this is basically the simplest way I can explain to you guys is imagine that you bought your little employee, your ATM, right? Now, when you bought your ATM, you go ahead and you actually fill that ATM with $1,000. When you fill that ATM with $1,000, let's say the very next business day, you have 10 people actually withdraw $40 each from your ATM. So that is minus $400 out of that $1,000. You have $600 left. You're probably wondering, did I just lose $400? Where does that $400 go? Actually, the processing network makes sure that we actually put the amount that the user, that use your ATM, we uh, hold that amount from their bank account and we transfer it to your business checking account the very next day, including the surcharge fee, guys. So whether you're charging $3, $2.50, $4 in California or anywhere else, then at the end of the day, that's what you guys are getting back. You're going to get back the vault cash, which is the cash that you're putting inside your ATM, plus your surcharge profits. It's phenomenal because I like to call it infinity banking. And at the end of the day, you're able to just reuse that $1,000, $2,000, $3,000, whatever amount you want to put up in there, up to $20,000 if you like, and you get to use it over and over and over again, guys. It is phenomenal, okay? Um, if I would have known this 10 years ago, oh, man, trust me, trust me. Oh, game changer right there. I probably would have been uh, having multiple uh, thousands upon thousands of ATMs, trust me, okay? But with that being said, it's okay. That's just the way it goes. So let's talk about location real quick. And this is the most important pillar out of the four pillars, guys. And the reason why I say this is because the ATM lie, either lives or dies by this, okay, by your location. And it doesn't matter if you have the best ATM. Doesn't matter about if you do the best service or whatnot. It depends about the foot traffic and it depends on what type of business it is because it has to be cash driven guys. There has to be a reason why they have to take out cash from your actual machine. So we're going to put that as free for right now. Okay. Because you can do it like I did it. You could go out there and you can actually find your own locations. It might take you several hours to find a location or you might get lucky and the first location you walk into might be a nightclub, it might be a bar, and boom, you just got a Golden Goose location, right? It varies. And then let's talk about the vault cash. To go back to when I was talking about processing, vault cash is the money that you're actually putting inside the ATM, guys. And that's going to range when you first start off one to $3,000, okay? Now, let's go back to location. With location, guys... I like to take my previous nine to five overtime hourly rate, okay? So I used to work a ton of overtime, guys. We're talking about <laughs> easily 60 to 100 hour work weeks, guys. You guys are probably like, Paul, you crazy. I'm serious, guys. I used to work that much overtime. It was normal. All my friends used to do that. My coworkers, everybody that I knew would work the same amount of overtime to make extra money for their families. Okay. Now there's nothing wrong with that, but at the end of the day, it's blood money, guys, you guys are working for that. That means that your health, your mental state, everything is taking a hit. So with location is exactly the same thing. Just like Santino said, guys, an experienced ATM deployer that makes $15,000. Plus, he just landed a huge corporate account with Dunkin' Donuts in the East Coast, guys. That is going to be tremendous for him, okay? Just imagine if you were in his shoes, guys. He started with one ATM, just like most of you are going to start. And you take it one ATM at a time. You build your skill set. You get mentored by the people that are out there doing it and you go ahead and you provide either value or you pay them for their time and they get you to the success. They get you to the promise line. They get you to your dream a lot faster 
than you going out there and actually finding the location yourself, okay? Because the location, the way you're going to pay with finding your own location is with sweat equity, okay? And sweat equity is uh, your time, all right? So talk about the time that you currently have. And this goes back to the very first lesson, guys, the four tips that I gave you uh, if you guys want to scale up to, uh, to build a multi-million dollar uh, business, okay? There was a specific reason why I asked, how much time does it take every single one of you to actually do the personal errands, to the personal things in your life besides your 40-hour work week? Because that's something that you have to strongly consider. This is what stops majority of nine to fivers or the general public who are not in entrepreneurship from actually starting an entrepreneurship. When I was working a nine to five and I was working 60 to 100 hour work weeks, when would I be able to start a business? When? Where? What energy? What mindset? I didn't have none of that, guys. I had to cut the overtime hours that I was working in order to execute on my vision, on my why, on my dream. So if you don't have the time, then the next couple of slides are going to be for you. And this is how we help people become from nine to five to actual real entrepreneurs that we help them execute, execute to become financially free by not only helping them, set up their ATM business, but we also help them with working on their why, their mindset, executing, discipline. So take about the location if you were to do this on your own, guys. Hourly rate that I used to get paid for on overtime, blood money, 80, hour, uh, 80 hourly. Uh, so let's say it takes you approximately 40 to 100 hours which if you guys been part of this group for a little bit, there was actually a newcomer who goes ahead and he went out there and actually got his location. And I actually respect the heck out of this guy. And I'll find this post and I'll, and I'll show it to you guys on the next live next Tuesday. But this guy, he literally typed up, it took me a hundred hours to land my first location, which actually it was a bar, guys. It was a phenomenal location. So kudos to him. But 100 hours. So I'm not making this up, guys. This is reality, okay? So 40 to 100 hours to find a decent location. Not, not any Mickey Mouse location that you're just going to place your ATM to make it there and sit pretty. No, a decent location. So at that hourly rate, you're going to get charged in sweat equity. $3,200 to $8,000, guys. A lot of people don't think about that. What is your time worth? That's what you have to realize here. All of our time, when we give our time to anything, anything of value, you have to make sure that that value is coming back to you or you can multiply it. Now, I went from working 80 dollars an overtime rate to fifteen hundred dollars because i focused on my why i focused on my vision and i executed that's it there was no excuse it has to work or it has to work okay and i actually took that line from one of my good friends Nehemiah davis i saw him at um click funnels in, in florida a few weeks back all right, guys. So when you add all of this up, okay, let's go to the numbers because I'm a visual learner. The true cost of self startup with an investment with money and sweat equity is around $6,400 to $13,000. And this is what majority of companies will not tell you. I feel like I have to be very transparent with every single person that comes into this because it is not easy. If it was easy, everybody would be successful in life. That's not the way it goes. That's why they say there are one percenters. So if you want to be part of the 1% club, 
we could definitely help you guys. We can help you with mindset. We can help you with the discipline. We can help you with the strategies that have worked over and over and over thousands of times, guys. And this is what we have. Okay, so let's talk about our automation elite package, okay? This is an intro package. So when you are brand new coming into ATM together, when you want to work with us, okay? Now, we don't just take anyone, guys. I wish we could. I wish we had the capacity to take uh, everybody. But at the end of the day, there are a few check boxes that my consultants have to look over in order to qualify you to come and work with us, okay? Because at the end of the day, we don't want to take anybody and not make you successful. When I first started the business, uh, close to two years now, and I was doing everything. I was a one-man team, guys. I built this business uh, within my third month to a six-figure business by myself. And we're not talking about six-figure in total revenue. No, we're talking about six figures in revenue monthly by myself as a one-man team, okay? I made it happen for myself because I wanted a different life. I didn't want any more excuses. I wanted to stop feeling bad for myself. And this is what I've created. And this is what I've been able to execute with my wonderful team of leaders, guys, okay? So what we offer you is four pillars. And we make this very simple to execute for anybody who wants to enter this business and actually succeed. Number one, we help you with a brand new Hayusan Halo 2 ATM. I highly recommend that you Google this ATM. It's a very good looking ATM. I've used it for a lot of my nightclubs, my bars, and high-end restaurants in the past. Now, this ATM comes with Bitcoin capabilities. It is a work horse, guys. So brand new ATMs, I always say have this saying, when you are a brand new, Start with new, never by used, guys. I have had horror stories of uh, clients coming to work with us where they purchased two or three ATMs that were at a discounted rate. And at the end of the day, they ended up getting scammed because it is not uh, EMV compliant or ADA compliant, American with Disabilities Act, meaning that uh, somebody with disabilities has to be able to use your ATM. And then EMV is basically the credit card uh, chip on all of the credit cards that they passed in 2017, guys. So they don't allow criminals to use slider credit cards to do fraud on your ATM. So it's just due diligence by the government, okay? And that's why I always tell you, go new, because it's just, it's, it's a sense of, uh, of uh, being stress-free. Something less you have to worry about, guys, okay? So also, you get a two-year warranty with this ATM, all right? Number two, you get... Uh, internet modem included, guys. It's included within the package. You don't have to worry about that. And we also include the first month of service for free. So after that, you're going to get a recurring charge of $5.99. That is, <coughs> excuse me, that is bone stock bare minimum anywhere, guys, okay? And that's going to be the only recurring charge you guys are ever going to get charged from us, okay? We don't charge you for processing, which I'm going to go into in just a minute. Now, with that being said, you get to choose between Verizon or AT&T. Unlimited processing network. What we use is Switch Commerce, guys. The reason why we like Switch Commerce is because it's very user-friendly, especially for newbies, anybody green coming into the ATM business. So with this processing network, we're able to offer for unlimited ATMs. We have one of the best processing um, teams and processing networks out there working hand in hand to actually help you as a newbie, guys. There is no program out there, which I'm going to get into in just a minute, but there's no program out there that actually helps you one-on-one -on -one to teach you how to program the actual machine. So if you're not tech savvy like me, I'm just keeping it real. Uh, at the end of the day, I'm in sales and management. I have experts to help you with this, okay? Experts that have hundreds of ATMs themselves have been through every single situation and they're gonna help you when that machine is down in the middle of the night or that machine is down and you don't know what you're doing and you're stressing. They'll answer that phone call. They'll help you out. We'll provide you with the resources if you guys need it, okay? That's the quality of service we provide here. So 
With that, two things. Number one, you're going to keep all of your surcharge profits, just like I promised you guys, just like I actually preach in the very beginning of this lesson. And then number two, we're not going to have you sign a service agreement, okay? If for any reason you're going to transfer out of state, I'm talking like you guys are part of the military, but no, I'm saying if you guys are going to relocate out of the state, or if you guys are going to go ahead and actually... Um, Let's say you want to sell your ATM business in the future, okay, uh, for some liquid, uh, liquid injection, like liquid cash, right, for another investment. Then you're not tied down by an actual service agreement, guys. It's phenomenal. You're able to go ahead and sell your business. And majority of times when your business is cranking, you're able to go ahead and you're actually able to get three to four X the amount that it's worth. It's phenomenal. And I'll say that for another live to educate you guys on that. Now, let's go to the pillar number four, which is the most important, guys. And that is your location. Location, location, location. One location is included. Yes. So you're probably like, this is crazy. Let me repeat this one more time, guys. You get the ATM, an actual tangible business. You get the internet modem included. You get unlimited processing. So it's part of a membership that you're actually investing in and you're going to be a lifetime member with us. And then you get the location included, your first location including. We're going to help you out with that, okay? So the way that works is simply, if you guys look right here, this is the process, okay? So this is what you can expect as far as the process. Week one, if you don't have your LLC or EIN, you don't have your bank account, we're going to go help and help assist you with that, okay? We're going to help you execute that. We'll find the banks for you. We'll provide you with information. All you have to do over there is just provide them the documents that we give you, and we'll tell you exactly what to say and how to say it. Now, week two, ATM order processing service set up and location started. So with this, it's a very lengthy process, guys, because there's a tremendous amount of paperwork. So we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to go ahead and uh, educate you on the actual processing service setup. And then we're going to start with your location. Our sales team is going to go ahead and do that. What the location team is going to do is they're actually going to cold call in your area and they're going to prospect the best locations for you. You actually have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with their admin assistant. Yes, the game has changed, guys. And we keep updating our program more and more every single month. And for all our newbies coming in, there's a special, special surprise that we're actually launching on Thursday that we announced on the clients group. We've been using the ClickFunnels database, um, database to host our actual program, our lessons, and all that jazz, right? Well, our COO, Getum, he has been working day and night in transferring all of our information, all of like the program details into this new database called Kajabi. It is very user-friendly. There's going to be a new application that you're going to be able to access and actually access this course through your phone, guys. It's going to be phenomenal. It's very user-friendly. So if you're at work, let's say you want to throw on some iPod or some um, iPods um, or, or your headset, and you want to listen to the program to educate yourself while you're at work because you have very limited time, you could go ahead and do that. It's phenomenal. Now, back to the location. You're going to get assigned a sales guy after your one-on-one -on -one with the admin assistant. They're going to go ahead and ask you details of your area, the proximity where you would want your ATM and all that jazz. Once they have all that information, they have 30 days to execute 30 days to land your location 30 days you'll have a turnkey business guys so with that they'll go ahead find your location they'll negotiate the deal they'll negotiate the surcharge fee and then from there they'll provide you all the intimate details the great part about this is you don't have to take that location if you don't want to guys this is simply for you to just do a simple follow-up to make sure three things number one that you get along with the business owner we want a good business relationship right Number two, to make sure that the area is actually safe, you're going to know your city the best. And then number three, under our ATM business lessons, we actually have a template that actually tells you the estimate return on investment on your location that you can use when you go to the location. And you can let us know if it's a green light or a red light and if you want to accept it. If you do, 
your ATM will already be en route to your uh, location, or I'm, I'm sorry, your residence. And then you're going to get the one-on-one -on -one appointment with one of our technicians who is going to help you with the lesson to actually program the ATM. They're going to answer any questions you might have regarding the installation. It is very simple to do that, that one of our clients who is around 84 years old was able to execute this, guys. 84 years old. Yes, we are not playing games here. We have fine-tuned this program to make it so simple that anyone can do this. We believe in you. Now, week three. You're going to review additional training, sales marketing, the actual programming. There's a lot of goodies inside of this program, guys. A lot of lessons, hours and hours of, you could say, sweat equity it took to actually build out this entire program. And then by week four to six, location secured and your installation is done and you have a turnkey business. Yes, that is the process that every single one of our clients goes through. And here is the support that we have for you guys. It is a quadruple guarantee that everybody loves. So guarantee number one, you're going to get the bank account approval. Okay. So without this, we can't execute on anything else. We make sure that you guys get the bank account squared away before we proceed with anything else. Guarantee number two, location within 30 days of bank approval, guys. So right after you have that one-on-one -on -one with the admin assistant for your location details, They'll go ahead and they'll start the timer. They have 30 days from that day to execute on your location and to provide it to you. Now, let's say we go on day 31. I will personally refund you $1,000 of my own cash to you. That is my promise, okay? And we're still going to provide you the location, all right? So it's a double win for you. And then guarantee number three, location replacement based on performance. Now, we have a guarantee with the performance of our locations, all right? So it, if it's generating you under $200 a month, please just communicate with us and we will be happy to replace that location for you, okay? It's our guarantee. We want good business and we want you to be happy, guys. This is why we're building successful entrepreneurs. And at the end of the day, trust me, there are um, clients out there making $500 a month from their ETM, $1,000 a month. There's even one client that's making $1,500 a month. It, it varies, varies based on location and states, guys. It's a beautiful thing. But I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to get rich off of one ATM. That's full transparency right here. Anybody that tells you you're going to get rich off of one ATM is lying to you, all right? Now, once you start building your ATM routes, that's when you're going to start seeing the cash flow. That's when you're going to see, wow, this is amazing. And you're going to want to build more and more and more because it is addicting, guys. Okay. And we have hired three phenomenal accountability managers dedicated just for you guys. So when you guys message your group chat, which you're going to have your consultant, you're going to have uh, our tech manager, you're going to have um, our location sales manager. And then you're also going to have the accountability managers in that group chat with you, dedicated to help you one-on-one -on, -one on questions you might have. They're there to respond to you guys. That's what we're paying them. We're paying them for the customer service to help you guys out, okay? Man, that was a long one. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. For all my East Coast people, I know it's late out there. Uh, thank you for actually staying on for this presentation. But this is also what I have for you. Okay. Okay, guys. So if you guys are interested in actually working with our team, all right, this is not a sales pitch. But this is straight a value call, meaning that free informational call. We want to educate you. We want to provide you with more resources, all that jazz guys, no pressure. I have actually trained my consultants to not sell anyone who is not the right fit. So we have to make sure that it's the right fit for you and for us. Okay, guys? So go ahead and comment teamwork if you are interested in talking to our staff. You might get me on the phones. Uh, I pop, from, uh, pop up from time to time, guys. But go ahead and comment teamwork uh, down in the comments below. Uh, make sure you guys comment multiple times because sometimes we miss the teamwork. So make sure to blow up the comments, guys. 
Uh, that way my uh, consultants can actually see it. They're on the live right now, checking the comments and all that jazz. And then this is also what I have for you. Last month was insane, guys. It's been so insane that every single person in my team has been pulling 18 to 20 hour days um, just because we are committed to our clients and we want to make sure that we provide you the best of the best customer service, guys. And, you know, we're very passionate on fulfillment. So at the end of the day, as long as we get that success photo from you guys and you guys are pumped and you guys are making your money and, and all that jazz, it just puts a smile to our faces. Uh, this is just me keeping it real. So we're only limiting it. It was at 10 last week, guys. We're down to our last five client packages for the remainder of this month, guys. And I'm sorry I have to limit it, but at the end of the day, I don't want the quality of the service to go down, okay? Once again, I don't want the quality of the service to go down, so we're only limited to the next five clients that are ready to rock. Our consultants will let us know, and then we'll advise you guys if we don't have any more packages next week. Hopefully, we have one or two, right? But yeah, yeah it goes by quick, so... And that's it. Um, let me stop the share screen. Yeah, that was a that was a great great live. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you guys have family, friends, um, business partners, anybody else that you think would uh, benefit from the information in this group, or they want a free guide or a mini course, go ahead and invite them to the group, guys. Yeah. Uh, just share this link, and then we'll we'll actually be posting this replay. So if you guys want a copy of this replay, so you guys can watch it again with your family and friends, your business partners, your loved ones, um, then go ahead and comment replay. That's going to be R-E-P-L-A-Y. Make sure to blow up the comments with replay because sometimes we miss it and our admins are going to be looking out for that, guys. Um, get them. For you sure, got anything sure. else? Man, I, I like when you bring up teamwork, man. I always remember... Like back in law enforcement days, man. I don't want to go like back in the day, start pulling some gray hairs, but you know, teamwork is dream work, as they say, guys. We're all about we we live and breathe what we say, right? When we say something on a live, it's literally we've done it. From five hundred dollars a month to ATMs to fifty thousand dollars, which is some of our team, they're making that much, right? So we live and breathe what we tell you every single week. Phenomenal presentation, though. Absolutely, guys. All right, guys. So don't forget, if you guys want your free informational call, yeah. make sure to comment team work so our consultants do not miss your actual comment and then they'll reach out to you personally on your messenger. With that being said, my name is Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com with my co-host. Get him, Yonas, COO. Can't wait for you guys to be the raffle winners. All right? Absolutely. Take care, guys. Take care.